This is part 2 of the Android Touch Screen Car Player series. In this video, we show how to connect the Wi-Fi and update the Android OS to the latest version. As per our part 1 video, the DC power input connection for the player is set up. The player is on, and in this video, we will go through the initial setup including date and time settings, Wi-Fi connection, and updating the operating system to the latest version if available. Connect the Wi-Fi to your router or use your mobile phone hotspot Wi-Fi in order to configure the date and time and update the OS. Go to Settings, then Network and Wi-Fi, and enable the Wi-Fi option. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the Wi-Fi password to connect to the Internet. Note, if you want to share the Wi-Fi Internet from your phone, enable the Hotspot option to connect. Once connected to the internet, navigate to settings, then date and time, and set the date and time. Select the use network provided time under automatic date and time option, which will help to sync the date and time whenever the internet is connected. Select your country under the Time Zone option, which will automatically retrieve the current date and time from the internet and display the correct date and time on the player. If there's any time difference, you may select the GMT Time Zone to avoid discrepancies. Now let's start to update the OS. Go to the, the Settings option, then System, and select About Device. Here, you can see all the information about your device. In this section, select Wireless Update to check if the newest version is available. If the latest version is available, the, the Download option will appear. Select that to download and install the update. This download will take about a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi internet speed. After the update file is downloaded, the new update will install automatically. Please ensure that neither the internet nor the power is disturbed during this process. After completing this process, the device will reboot and be ready to use. Now, you can install the app and audio system and other features. In the next part of this series, we demonstrate speaker connection, cameras, and explore various ways to utilize this player to make our home a smart home. If you found this video useful, please consider supporting us. Your support enables us to create more informative content like this and continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether you choose to like, share, or subscribe to our channel, every bit of support encourages us to create more. Thank you.